I'm reacting to Tower of God episode 11, and I'm starting my reaction to this from the minute and 38 second mark in one, zero, go. All right, I'm pumped up for this. Hopefully things go well for our band though. It's pretty amazing, it's a pretty amazing ability of breaking up. Free cognition, then, if he was able to predict that. <laughs> mm. Oh. Okay, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Although, in saying that, with Rachel and the condition she's in, it's gonna probably be Final Test Underwater Hot. Huh? Oh. But with Rachel's injuries, I just wonder how he's gonna actually cope with it. But you know what, I, I think that will just, you'll find a way to figure it out. It actually does look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of miss the cute little cowboy rock. Well, you know, the, the bigger one is cool too. <laughs> Oh my. Jeez. Eesh. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> the face there. <laughs> mm. Sounds pretty easy. I mean, with all the power they've got behind them. Should be a walk in the park. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you can take that back about easy. I should have figured there was gonna be some kind of twist. I mean, I, could, I guess I could say some of them are smarter than Bam, but I don't know about strength because Bam looks like he has all the laning potential in the world from a power standpoint. <laughs> ah, poor Shibisu. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> oh man. I always love those extra moments theory. <laughs> Yo, he might have to do more than just apologizing, though. <laughs> Probably gonna have to do favors to make up for the fact that he lost the Black March. Oh, that's actually cute to have. To see Ben and Rachel having those. Those interactions. I like he, I like he. <laughs> Probably because he actually feels like Bam's a friend. I mean, he hits it off pretty well. Oh. He's seen him hit it off pretty well with Bam. Hmm. Is it compassion? Could that be? Or is it kindness? Could that be what Bam has? It's adorable there. And I'm pretty sure Kun feels the same one. Oh, we know Kun feels the same one. Hmm. Oh, snap. Even the host T2. Holy fuck, I hope nothing happens where I should be. Oh, no! Oh, okay, I thought that was Shibusu for a second. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, the way Rachel's saying it, it's kind of feeling ominous now. Especially when it's parallel with what that beast is doing. Oh, really? That dog looks kind of cute. No, no, I don't want to see it even though. Damn. Shibisa's got some balls. Yeah, man, this dude. Even though Shibusu might not be the strongest motherfucker ever, man, this dude is alpha as fuck. Oh! Okay, they have a... I mean, that just means that the bull has a lot of intelligence there. No, that does not seem like the best spot to be jumping like that, though. Oh, it actually got a hit? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Good thing he was able to get in his fit. No. No, 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 no. Yes! Woo! Alright. <laughs> they burned me for a sec. I didn't want to see my favorite Eden. No. I mean, pretty fucked up to the use them as pay, but hey. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be it. I think those two will learn how to work with each other. <laughs> This is going to be quick work for these two. Damn, these princes of the Jihad sure love gambling, don't they? The bets. Oh. Hey, you know, those, those seem like good conditions. They're that.
<laughs> Whoa. If the shame can get into get out all that guy to find a way of conjuring chocolate or something to keep Rock satisfied. Hmm. Okay, so far everything's seeming good. All right, I always love it when a plan goes comes together. I mean, can't blame him for. <clears throat> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. How might I use this? Oh no. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Doing that in a way, trying to <clears throat> probably. Yeah, she gets cocky way too easily. Or no, she actually does have a way of getting out. <laughs> oh snap. Hey, it's only forever to get a turn now. So, please allow. Even though people always be imposing the wall over him. <laughs> mm. Okay. It depends on the perspective of someone. <laughs> some people like straw, some people don't. Just depends. Guess it makes sense. Okay, it's the movements seem a bit quicker now. Oh, okay, what the hell did it do? Did it eat some? Did it eat some kind of fucking food or drug? Then that's its strength. Okay, hopefully I'm chills up because um.
Oh, shit. It did explain that rankers are actually capable of controlling those creatures. I wouldn't be surprised if that thing increased the strength of the beast. <laughs> oh, snap. Damn, this is probably going to be one of the most epic cliffhangers. Ah, jeez. Oh. I wonder if that implies that Minister is going to give Ban the chance to scale the tower with the Serenz then. Hmm. That's only, that can only be my guess. Yeah, I have a feeling Ankh's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to be easy for her. Unless she can somehow also whip out the. Power of the Black March, too, aside from her own weapon, there is no way she's gonna fucking win this fight. What the fuck? Wait, is she actually gonna die? Well, I don't get the feeling that things are going to go bad for him, too. Oh. Huh? What? I am surprised it wasn't Rock who fucked that up, but it was Parasol. Oh, part of me is thinking. Oh, this sack of shit. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's hope that man's confidence brings his undoing. I hope. Probably gonna be bringing the creature that knocked... Yeah, that knocked Androsi out. Okay, I guess that was kind of on the money there with them, with them controlling the bowl there. Okay, now that is fucked up.
I don't think Androsa's gonna go through with it. Although she might, because she's... Or is she actually gonna go through with it? Oh, fuck! <laughs> I wish these episodes were 40 minutes long. No. No, <laughs> damn it. How can it end like that? I need more, damn it. Come on, Crunchyroll. That has to be, that has to be more. Ah, man, we gotta wait an extra week. Shit. You know, when episodes end like that, I just feel like hitting the webtoon option on Crunchyroll's website whenever the episode ends. But then I remind myself, I'm like, nah, anime kid, man. You gotta wait. Just gotta wait for the episode so that y'all can go in clean and spoiler free. So I'm a, I'm a just, I'm gonna just be patient, and I am not gonna fucking click on that webtoon. And to, yeah, I'm not gonna click on it because I should. I want to be anime, anime only because the series has been pretty freaking lit. I'm gonna rate this one straight up. Oh wow, it, it's a ten out of ten caliber episode. I mean shit. Well, yes, you could argue at this point they haven't been giving Bam much to do. It's been amazing regardless. There at least you have cute moments with Bam and Rachel there. You've got... You've got character moments set up for Androsi. You're going to see whether she's going to take the easy route of killing Ankh or she's going to take the tough route of protecting her. I think maybe she's probably going to go for protecting Ankh because they felt somewhat of one at this point, regardless of whether it's somewhat antagonistic. So I can't wait where that's gonna lead, but who knows, she might actually go through with it. With what that douchebag is saying when it comes to him wanting her to kill Anka. I hope not, but you never know, the series always, seemingly always having a twist. And as for Parasol, I know Parasol did it by accident, but I'm getting the eerie feeling that my, that motherfucker probably did it on purpose to fuck Roy Rock. And con man, that pisses me off. But yeah, there. I don't know. I just considering that this series is feeling like Top Patrol. I have a feeling that Paris someone fucked it on purpose. I don't know. I could just be a paranoid fuck, but but I don't know. My I just it's just my instincts telling me that that guy's probably a fucking traitor. Everyone's feeling like a fucking traitor in this series so far, except for our main crew, of course. But anyways, aside from that, I actually also love how they detail why they help out Bam, too, because of his personality, and that's pretty cute there. It actually makes the relationship with all the characters and with each other feel much more authentic, now that they mention why people gravitate naturally towards Bam, when they mention that he has something that they don't have, which my guess is going to be compassion and kindness. That's, that's at least what Bam's shown so far, maybe hope bit of hope. And so all in all, I like that. Seriously that, how Bam, even though he's hasn't been affecting the plot much, he's still the glue that makes the whole thing work. You know? So all in all, that was pretty a nice moment, character moment for Shibusu. And on top of that, I do like how at the very least the relationship between Ankin and Josie is becoming a bit more lighthearted. I like that. Now it's, it's going to be truly tested in the next episode. And from a story standpoint, this episode was just jam-packed with action and tension. And the music was high. So that really got me pumping up. And the artwork was pretty as always. And that's why I felt this episode was going to be a 10 out of 10 caliber episode. I mean, shit. <laughs> it's exciting. <clears throat> There's really not much more I could ask for. And I can go in and I thought this was going to be like a 9 or 8 out of 10 caliber episode. Because this series has been consistent, but damn. Because I was thinking they were going to save the 10 and I think I'll ever stuff for 12 or 13. Because that's how usually animes work. But holy shit. The series keeps on surpassing my expectations. And I am pumped up for the next one. But anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the video, share, comment, subscribe. And I hope y'all have a great one for all day. Because y'all know I'm going to definitely be there to react to episode 12. But anyways, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. And have a great, fun, and fantastic day, everyone. Bye-bye.